I'm Hebe and we're backstage at the show. <laughs> it's my first show doing for them, so I'm really excited but a bit nervous. <laughs> it's just like a really long catwalk, it's like miles. <laughs> and I think it's an amazing collection, it's really beautiful but also really modern and like really amazing colours. Hello to Fashion TV, enjoy the show. <laughs> We're doing a strong lip, a Marco da Vincenzo, but we're actually giving all the models individual lip colours because we wanted to reflect something in real life. How often do you go to a party where everybody's wearing the same lipstick? Never. So, you know, they're all having a colour that suits their face, reflects something in the clothing. It's very simple. You know, we're just doing a lip and a beautiful skin. Um, no kind of smokiness in the eye or heaviness, just you know, the lip, beautiful lip. A very velvet matte texture, uh, a MAC, um, retro matte liquid lip color, which go very intensely velvet matte. And then we're using some oil on the skin for a little bit of gorgeous sweatiness. A little bit more than dewy. Hi, Fashion TV. A few minutes before a show is always a, a strange moment. Uh, you, uh, especially um, when you uh, are uh, trying to find the right words to tell your story, because it's clear for you, but you have to find a way to, uh, to explain what, what what's in your in your mind. And uh, but I'm excited. Uh, season by season, uh, the energy is uh, stronger and. Uh, I think the, the fashion show is always the best day for a designer. I'm growing up uh, without running too much. Uh, I'm happy because uh, I, I think to, to find uh, yourself uh, means to, to take time, uh, to risk sometimes and to discover your aesthetic is not easy for a, for a designer who always worked on leather goods because uh, I started uh, from a big experience in leather goods. So ready to wear is uh, every season a, a new experience for me. Everything started from a 50s uh, postcard uh, depicting a, a Riviera scene, a landscape, very joyful, very colorful. And I immediately thought uh, to tell a story about color as always, but this season uh, in a different way because uh, I, I said, okay, what happens when the, when the light changes and the landscape uh, is the same, but something happens in the light, in the sky, the color changes and your mood changes. And uh, that's why I try to uh, build a collection using two chromatic palettes different. One is very, very day and light, and one is more nocturnal. I, I think um, everybody in, in, a, in a day changes completely and uh, is, uh, is mood and uh, not, not, mm, it doesn't mean to lose uh, energy or power or uh, but maybe in the morning uh, you wake up and you are different from uh, the moment uh, of a sunset when there's a kind of mel melancholy or something else happens in your art. So it's um, there's a, a, a focus, uh, I, I think, on uh, fragility. In, in um, every day, we choose uh, uh, the color to wear to express ourselves, and every day uh, we we change. We we can think the black is the color of that day, or completely something different. And for me, it was uh, interesting to start from uh, from a story that talks about 
the, the color and, and the importance of color in our life. Accessories are my first love, as you know. It's like a play because uh, I have a lot of experience, so um, maybe sometimes there's uh, less uh, stress thinking them. Shoes, bags are a, a very familiar world. And uh, especially with uh, with shoes, it's uh, I'm in love with designing them because uh, I because I I'm sure that uh, it represents even today the, the first desire of a woman. And we are flying with shoes. Even my business, uh, it's incredible what, what a shoe can, can with the importance of a shoe in the world of in the in the world of a, of a woman is incredible. Hello to Fashion TV. Thank you.